my reasoning deck explanation. Um, I'm gonna have tons of uh, reasoning decks come out. I'll have one more based off of the same thing. It's the same, same build, same setup. The only difference would be mainly would be the monsters I put here. Like in this, this is a slifer build. Everything else is pretty much the standard Exodios. I like calling them Sephiroth. Sephiroth! The Ultimate Time Lord, Photon Thrasher, Wolf, Mystic Swordsman Level 4, Dodo -do -do Lava Golem, and Plasma. Pretty much these are two new additions to the to the concept. Um I did summon him at least one time. Lava Golem of course like three times. Um since I started using them in the design. Mostly it would have been like, you know, red screen and like Regeki break. Um but I decided to like take out the traps and put in some more monsters. Mainly because of um Sephiroth. <laughs> I wanna guarantee that I got ten monsters so I can use him. That way he'd be one of my you know win conditions. And of course Slifer using reasoning and monster gate in order to summon him. Um, but you can I could also get it if I meet the condition of like dropping forth photon thrasher dropping Exodios. I can I use Exodios' effect when I attack to drop Wolf from the deck. Wolf will summon. So now I got three monsters, tribute all three in main phase two, Slifer. You know. That's that's a combo right there. Or of course Plasma, the other three tribute. Good thing about Plasma is that I don't have to attack to get him. I can drop Thrasher. I can set uh, Mystic Swordsman or Dodo the Warrior and then summon Exodios, tribute them three, Plasma. And if my opponent has two monsters, tribute both his monsters, give him Lava Gone, use Plasma, take Lava Gone, which is why they're both together in the deck, because they combo pretty well. Um, plus, Lava Gone gets rid of any problems I might have, in case somebody has like a, like a Barkeon and, well even the Barkeon won't do much, but let's pretend they have Barkeon and Notorious Beast, it's like, alright, well, I need to play my reasoning so I can bring out my Slifer. I'm going to tribute both your monsters, give you a lava bomb, drop my Slifer. And depending on how many cards I have in my hands, sometimes I have a maximum of six cards. Slifer will come out as a 6,000. Run uh, um, um, lava bomb over with ease. Um, let's see. But of course, the lava bomb plasma play is it's pretty fun. <laughs> um, of course, you can do Shockmaster plays of. Oh, as well, um, because you'll play reasoning, your wolves will probably get dumped to the graveyard just to bring out Slifer. And if you uh, Photon Thrasher before you play reasoning, then once two wolves go to the grave, they'll hit the field so they have Thrasher, two wolves, Slifer on the field, and you can go into a Shockmaster play right there. Um, you can exceed into anything you want, even if you only get one wolf to summon. That you can exceed both. Um, in the obvious play, of course, in the obvious play um, version of this, you, you have Thrasher, if Wolf hits the field, obvious is on the field, you can use obvious secondary effect, um, well, his, his main effect, tribute both Wolf, Thrasher, and destroy all the monsters in points I feel, so that, that's a good play right there. Um, but of course, just even having um, Thrasher, Wolf, and Slifer on the field lets you drop Plasma again. You know, it's like just so many different types of plays. You know, Exodia. It's like when you look at the, the deck, you, you look at it like, well, uh, Slifer needs three tributes to summon. And you look at Exodia, it's like, well, he can't be no more summoner set. You look at, at Sephiroth, he can't be no more summoner set. Thrasher can't be no more summoner set. But he can't be special if you have no monsters. You got Wolf, can't be normal summoner set. He specials when he's sent from the deck. You got Mystic Swordsman, can't be normal summoner set. Dodo Doba, can't be normal summoner set. Lava Gone, can't be normal summoner set, but can't be special if you tribute to monster in front of the field. Plasma, can't be normal summoner set, but can be special summoned by tributing three monsters on your side of the field. 
So it's like, what's the point of a deck that has a whole bunch of monsters that can't be known when summoners set? Reasoning. Monster Gate. That's why. Because Monster Gate and Reasoning will guarantee that these monsters will go to Graveyard. That's the point. The point is them to go Graveyard, especially you want Wolves to go to Graveyard. Because Wolves will Special Summon after Reasoning resolves. So that right there gives you a whole bunch of monsters which you can OTK your opponent with. So if three wolves go to graveyard plus you drop Slifer, Slifer let's pretend it's like 6,000 or something. You got 6,000 Slifer and then you got three wolves on the field. That's over 6,000, that's over 12,000 gain. That's why. That's your win conditions right there. Um, Cause somebody was asking like, you know, for the whole like Pulsar um, reasoning deck, didn't understand like how you win with it. It's like, well, that's how you win. You play reasoning, drop a whole bunch of monsters, and you know beat your opponent. Um, and re the the difference between the light pulsar build is interesting and unique mainly because this it's not only light pulsar that can be brought out. Red metals also can be brought out, and that's the thing. You have four monsters that either one of them can be summoned. So you have three light pulsars and a red metals. But the point is to get red metals light pulsar on the field at the same time for the um, like pulsar loop and that's the main thing it's like you try and get that loop there so that we always have field presence you always have something on the field and you know you can bash your opponent um, with it also you have the um, the war wolves themselves the thrashers and you have the silver calculus giving power boosts so you know that's that's the winning that's how you win with the deck you win by summoning monsters and beating your opponent to death with it and the main thing that gets you started, gets you the power, is is reasoning. As you can see, the, I took out the traps to add more attack, more power, more strategies. Because this is these are aggressive decks plus fun decks at the same time. It's just for fun, you know what I mean? If you take this tournament and you win tournaments with it, that's that's great. But these decks are just mainly for fun. Um, just because. Reasoning is a great card, Monster Gate is a great card, and I just wanted to make them work. So I saw a video once and somebody played Reasoning, somebody said a number, and I started seeing all these monsters go to graveyard. I started seeing wolves. And the funny thing, the guy said four, and I saw a wolf go to graveyard, and he kept throwing, kept throwing. And this was on um, Dev Pro, so that system's automatic, so it's not like the guy was cheating, it was like, oh, but. It seemed like he was because <laughs> it's like wait a minute something's wrong what's going on like I don't, I don't get it do I misunderstand how reasoning works and then when I, when I saw it in action I was like and I went went into the comic section somebody asked the question like wait a minute how do you do all that and then he explained oh it's because the monsters that are, that are sent to the graveyard they can't be normal summon and reasoning specifically states you have to have a monster you can normal summon in order for the effect of the card so you, even if your opponent says four and you start milling fours, you have to keep milling until you get to a four star that can be summoned, but then will go to graveyard because your opponent called the right number. But if your main monster in the deck is like an eight star, for example, all your other monsters will have to go to the graveyard until you get to that eight star. Then the res, uh, reasoning resolves. The mon and, and, and the same rule applies for Monster Gate because it has the same effect but with a tribute condition. You tribute a monster to activate, which is what Thrashers are for, Exodios and whatnot. So, I was like, that's amazing, that's how reasoning works. You just gotta have monsters that cannot be normal summoned, so that way they'll mill to the river. So then it was just a matter of figuring out like, well, how can I use that to my advantage? I've always wanted to like dump half my deck to the graveyard and do some crazy combos and here we go reasoning so that's what that's where this came from it came from just the understanding of how reasoning works and then the whole war wolf that was the main thing is that the, after his spell card resolving he dropped his his boss monster then the wolves summoned and he was able to he was able to tk and i was like what <laughs> That's that's awesome. Um, let's see. 
I, I still want to check out the rulings for the Exodios, the Ultimate Forbidden Lord. I want to know if, if I can replay. As in, I attack, send Wolf from the deck to the graveyard, Wolf with special summon. Would it cause me to be able to replay my attack? If not, alright, whatever. I got a Wolf out of it. But if I could replay my attack, that'd be interesting. Because then I could attack again, and then send another Wolf. Replay. Attack again, send another Wolf. Replay. You know what I mean? Um, and then I have three wolves in one turn, so that right there will be a win condition if that works. Um, probably not because I remember one time somebody argued with me that replay only applies when your opponent um, loses a monster or gains a monster during during the the battle step. So it doesn't apply if I summon another monster. I don't get to replay. My original attack continues to go. Some some stuff like that. Somebody was arguing with me with that. So it depends. But if I can attack multiple times with Exodios, then that's more wolves. I mean, it's uh, well. This will definitely. I, I will make that. I will make that the, the Exodio Wolf OTK um, because I could play the spell card. Um, well, my opponent has to have a lot of monsters though. That's the only thing. Let me see. Wait, give me a second. You know what? I can do it with the Dustins. I can do it with the Dustins. That way, he has monsters. Yeah, and he has monsters because zero versus zero does nothing. So that'd be awesome. So that way, I attack all the Dustins. They don't die. Either does Exodios because they don't deal damage, but because I use um, the wave motion thing to make it where Exodios can attack all my opponent's monsters. That's how I can drop all all three wolves from my deck. Um, and the good thing about Exodios is the fact that, you know, his summoning causes the monsters in my graveyard to go back to my deck. So, that's a good way of guaranteeing that all three wolves are in my deck. When I start attacking, drop the wolves, you know, and OTK. So, I definitely build that after this video and test it out. <laughs> what else? Uh, of course, you know, your, your XC plays, you know, you got your stroke, you got your... Black Ship of Corn, your Dire Wolf, your Utopia, your Degusor Animal, of course, so that we can put the monsters back in the deck, draw. So that'd be a little draw engine right there. Since I have a lot of light monsters and most of my plays are Wolves and Thrashers, you know, Star Leech, Paladin Dynamo, uh, Gem Knight Pearl, of course, just because he's basic, Photon, Pepilla Operative, Constellar Omega. This new little toy I want to play with because I like the whole when he would be destroyed, I could detach all the materials from him to protect him. So that's why he's in there because he's a 2500 that I can make. And of course, Shock Master, so you can go into your Shock place. Shock, 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 everybody. Violent <laughs> right the Sigma, of course, so I can take my points monster. And then of course the Degusto. Uh, I mean, um, Gustav Max, which I make a lot, so it's like my main monster in the deck, Gustav Max, three of them, so I can use them all and cycle them all and just keep making them and keep burning my opponent with the, with the Exodios and Exodios and Exodios and Exodios. <laughs> Alright there, there's the explanation. Great! Oh my God! I'm so mad. I OTK'd him. I had Slife on the field. He was four thousand. I Exodios. I had Wolf also on the field because of uh, reasoning's effect, and I had explained to him what happened and whatnot. Right? So, because all this greatness and shit, which is great, great, greatness. Uh, you better have Kalutz because you ain't bypassing nineteen hundred without Kalutz. Um, but that that was all awesome type of stuff. Uh. I had, I had Slife on the field. I'm mad because it was a perfect duel. You would have loved it. A perfect duel. Now we went into a rematch because he didn't like the fact that he got Slifered. Wolf OTK. Exodios attacked. Milled a, a wolf. Wolf summoned. 
So I had Slifer at 4,000, two wolves, both 2,100. So that was over 8,000. That was 8,200. He lost. It was awesome. I was mad though. I was so super mad. So super mad. So super mad. But okay. Damn man, if I could well, I'm gonna have to do it. See now since he already knows my deck. He already knows not to not to say ten because I mean to say ten because it's Slifer. But since I got Monster Gate, it's like uh, you don't even get that option, dude. Yeah, you know it's my deck. You know how my deck works. Wolves. Oh, I see a wolf. He summons. And there's Slifer. He had no choice. He thought he was gonna be slick and avoid Slifer. Slifer, no swiping. Slifer, no swiping. And then I drop good old Ba. And then the good thing is I can go into a uh, Slifer next turn in main phase two. So I'll put all this in the back. So this wasn't the great uh, duel earlier, the one that happened just before this. I realized I wasn't recording after the match. I was like, oh my god, I wasn't recording the duel. Holy crap. It was, it was it showed exactly what this deck can do. It's like oh my god, and Slifer is currently now a three thousand more than enough power to thrash some stuff. Let's say let's see let's say he colludes because he could have colluded earlier, so he doesn't have colludes from my assumption. So now I enter battle phase. If he does get Kaloots, I'd rather him waste it. Slifer now swiping. Slifer now swiping. He takes off under from that time. Uh, earlier was better because he got OTK'd. directly. Swipe back, no swiping. Swipe back, no swiping. Right? Going to main phase two. Overlay. Okay, going to my Gustav Max play. Got to detach the Zodios. But never detach Slifer, because he goes Monster Reborn it. Uh, back. Got to love broken plays and OTKs. Now the funny thing is, I can, you know, I could summon Slifer. I could summon Slifer, but I could also... <clears throat> summon this Omega for protection. I could summon Stroke for extra protection in case he got Dark Hole. But if he has Dark Hole, oh, I got this. I got this. So he might draw a Pollute, so I might be able to beat my monster. Uh, tough decisions, tough decisions. But I would want to just Stroke. Better safe than sorry. Since he's at 1200, it's always good to defend. And then my turn. So in one turn, he's down to 1,200. I got 8,000. <laughs> now, I could have, yes, I could have summoned Slifer, which would have made life so much hard for him because without, without like Dark Hole or something, he wasn't going to beat Slifer. Anything summoned would have lost 2,000 attack. It would have either immediately died or be too weak to beat Slifer. But Slifer at full power. But right now, he gets to play something. He duality which was not the best move in the world. But he has to do something, right? He got a summon, he got Kaloots. He has to get rid of Gustav Max. He gets to. He 
he has to now. Oh, that'd be funny. Sitting in here, Chris attacks us. Well, obviously, you got Dark Griffer. So that means he doesn't have, you know, anything to beat me right off the bat. Off the back. Now, can you stop this? You don't have the Bind Wrath, because you don't have no card in hand for the start for it. And JJ? So what is it you wanted to do? To negate. Negate what?